Thank you very much for a uh, kind of introduction. Um, so, I'm Tatsuya Sasaki, and I, I was in 2008 a so, summer student in so, International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis. Uh, uh, my summer supervisor, was, so he would uh, take my name, uh, so, for the speaker, uh, Tiki Branso. I'm very happy uh, today to talk about my recent results based on our uh, so, uh, summer present. So, uh, and my, so today's talk title is Full Rewards and Punishment in Public Good Games. So, um, so uh, please let me so, uh, so be uh, a kind of free rider on so, Wolf Stoke. Because uh, thanks to uh, this very uh, nice talk, I can I mean skip uh, explanation or definition of full uh, sanctioning system. Audio because then the camera will catch you in the recording. <laughs> so, sorry, I am fluctuating. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first I am talking about optional participation and uh, function of full rewarding, and then we are time to uh, time to full punishment, and finally we are talking about integration of uh, full rewards and full punishment. Actually, we are considering. Uh, rewarding full punisher. And this is our method and model. We are based on infinitely large well mixed population, which means we uh, rely on replicator dynamics for finite strategies. And we consider a standard public goods game, which is different of uh, uh, one because uh, this is considered so public goods uh, divided. Uh, and uh, dis distributed among all participants. So this means this public goods game is a little bit relaxed uh, more than um, others only public goods game, which is uh, which was introduced by. Uh, but uh, our interests are uh, located in other places. So, let me uh, explain uh, directly the uh, payoff function for each strategy. This is a uh, so, well uh, established study by Crystal Howard and his colleagues in 2002, paper published in JTB and all as well as in Science. So they considered two, uh, three strategies. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, standard operators in public token, as well as defectors, and a third strategy, mm -hmm. non participants. So, non participants, in other words, donors and fixed but small mm -hmm. pair of sigma. From, uh, for example, gathering, gathering mushrooms outside public goods game, they are not participating in public goods game. In public goods game, cooperator and director can uh, obtain same benefit from public goods, which has been produced by contribution from only cooperators. So, cooperators incur cost to production of public goods C1 and C1 is multiplied by the number of cooperators NC and times coefficient uh, multiplication factor R1 and finally divided by the number of participants which is uh, equal to N minus N is group size and small NN which is the number of non-participants. This is 
the basic uh, definition of so payoff for each sort of disease. And if there is no four player, which means uh, you are only participant and other n minus one members are all non participants. In that case, this unique participant should act as non participant because no public goods interaction. And with uh, some uh, interesting assumptions, we can have this uh, periodic cycles around center Q. So this is uh, answering the so, former uh, so, uh, question. So this is uh, really interesting results because uh, even though equation system is really non-linear, but Chris uh, Howard and his colleagues fully analyzed by, by mathematics and they uh, derived this uh, result. And uh, with respect to this uh, pioneering work, we so we got interested in uh, other model which is based on rewarding matching funds. So, excuse me. So, uh, I, I could only find a uh, Japanese newspaper, so, which is uh, oh. <coughs> you think you can see it this morning? Oh, so, uh, which means, so, this is uh, in Chinese characters, that means fund, fund funding, fundraising. Fund is uh, coming from contribution by volunteers. And government or states can uh, give uh, matching uh, fund. So same amount of money is coming from government. And uh, combination of contribution from volunteers and governmental budget, we can have total budget for uh, reward. This is, uh, I would say, much demand reward system. So, using, uh, sorry, I'm skipping. Using this system, we can have other, uh, another pay off functions. So, uh, in this case, all members have to participate in public use game. And then we can have this uh, well known uh, public use benefit function. So this uh, denominator, denominator means the number of uh, full uh, participants. And only defectors are pre reliable can public use game. As a, this is means uh, full rewarders who is contributing to pool party, uh, matching party, by uh, incurring cost C2. This C2 is multiplied by R2. This is uh, enhancing collected uh, so fund and multiplied by the number of rewards. This collected funds are divided by the number of contributors to public use case. This means the number of contrib contributors uh, should, should be the sum of the number of rewards and cooperators. Both are contributing to public use game. But these cooperators are second order free riders. They are not contributing to reward funding. They are free riding to free riding on contribution by pool rewards. So this system is similarly producing periodic orbits around center Q. So this analysis could be done uh, following uh, the former Crystal Powers analysis. And this is uh, applied to another AO function like this. So we applied this idea to Public use games. This is 
most most simplest one uh, simplest one uh, of uh, nonlinear public use If you have uh, much contributors, its number is greater than k. In that case, you can have full benefit from public use. But otherwise, you can have risk. Uh, the benefit is subtracted by this, this factor p. In this case, this public use function is described by this uh, step function. But this benefit term is same as before. Only two rewarders are contributing to reward fund, and operators are second order free riders, no contribution to full fund, and effectors are first order free riders. This case, we can have uh, also uh, cyclical dynamics, but uh, that step function can induce biasability on the edge between node C and node D. This means biasability which stabilizes node C, so, which is similar to the former presentation by Ulf. And based on this biasability, this full rewarders can play a role of uh, a kind of bypass mechanism or uh, catalyzer or in other words mediator. Using uh, this path, we can escape social trap and finally can converge to this cooperative uh, fixed point. And interestingly, in particular, in case of anonymous agreement, which means threshold is full cooperation. In this case, final outcome is full cooperation. This is very good. And uh, next is our main dish, because I am talking about uh, not only rewarding, I would like to talk about full punishment. But uh, this full punishment can allow, uh, so there is a room for second order free riders. And you can remember in the former Wolf's presentation, we uh, so prohibiting uh, second order free riders uh, possibilities, uh, which, uh, which was uh, assumption. But in this case, we tried to consider uh, the effects of second order free riders uh, function. And <coughs> our aim is to bridge between <coughs> traditional peer sanctioning model and uh, modern, so higher arbitrational instances uh, or so, institutional sanctioning. And again, sorry, uh, it's uh, very useful to explain uh, to you by uh, payoff function. In this case, <coughs> we consider optional public use game with full punishment instead of full rewarding. There, there is already loaders who is uh, so only interested in uh, sigma payoff and to punish and cooperator and defectors are participating in optional public use games. And defectors are uh, so first order free riders as well as before. And cooperators and punishers are contributing to public use games with uh, pain cost C1. And this full punisher uh, already paid cost to punish free riders by paying cost C3. This C3 is uh, transformed to penalties on first order defectors, free riders, and second order free riders. We are considering also second order punishment. And on first order free riders, 
proportional to the number of punishment, we can so, uh, so put penalty R3 times C3 times LB, the number of punishers. And on second order free riders, in addition, we so, multiply factor KB. This is uh, so controlling the amount of uh, second order punishment penalty. This is a technical explanation, but you should uh, focus on uh, phase problem. So, uh, because of four strategies, and we will have three dimensional replicator dynamics, and uh, left picture shows uh, four phases of uh, three dimensional simplex, and between C, D, and uh, Lona sprayer, we will have, so as you know, cyclical dynamics. And uh, uh, yes, uh, I, will, I should explain this base portrait. This is describing uh, interior dynamics. So you can see there should be bistable dynamics. Depending on initial conditions, some trajectories can converge to through uh, pan so, financial state. This is so uh, also means full cooperation. But if the fraction, initial fraction of full punishers are very low, the trajectories can only converge to this bottom surface. No full punishment. This is with different angles. Uh, you can see clearly the uh, existence of barrier. This can divide state space of the state space. This means no emergence of full punishment. So, uh, there, there are several solutions. Um, one of the most famous is by Carl Zygmunt in 2010 paper in Nature and 2011 in published in Dynamic, Dynamic Dynamical games and applications, in which they they keep uh, some assumptions and they change some assumptions, and they uh, change model of public scheme into others only public scheme, and uh, from infinite populations uh, towards finite populations. For example, population size is 100. Using this model, Markov, Markov chain can solve the system like this, defector, non-participants, and operators. After this cycling dynamics, finally, full punisher can evolve. And in other solutions, for example, void and uh, so void means and both uh, propose conditional coordinated punishment and Hilbert segment propose uh, opportunistic rewarding. As, as well, we should pay attention to uh, Crystal Howard's JDP paper on opportunistic total rewarding. And we will propose another uh, solution based on full rewarding and full punishment. So, uh, for uh, answer, I am telling you so full, full rewarding can reach of optional participation and full punishment. And this is pair of functions. This time, uh, we are obligatory participating in public scale. Four strategies. Full punisher, operator, defector, and full reward. And full punisher, operator, rewarders are contributing public scale. But for pool funding or matching funding, only rewarding, uh, only rewarders contribute to pool fund. And but resulting rewards are divided by uh, amongst pool punishers, operators, and rewarders. So punishers and operators are rely on reward. 
This means second order rewarding for full punisher to support uh, for full punishers to jump in the state space. And addition, this full punisher includes cost uh, to punish second order and first order free riders as well as before. And we will have uh, we will see emergence of full punishment. Uh, based on support by full rewarding. There is cycling among rewarding operating defectors, defecting. but because of second order rewarding for full punishers, full punisher can invade this service, and finally, we can have this trajectory to converge to full punishment uh, for 100% state. But interestingly, on the surface, we can have very similar case problems, but interior dynamics is qualitatively different. And I am so ready to uh, dessert after making the dish. So, also we are considering uh, five, uh, so fifth strategy, so as you know, uh, non participants. With non participants, this four strategy system operator, defector, full rewarder, and non participant we, we will have two different cycles. First, we can start by cycles among non participant operators, defectors, but to this service, full rewarder can be made. And finally, we will have different cycles among rewarders, operators, defectors. And I, I think almost uh, so you can imagine so our final result is five uh, strategies dynamics full punisher operator defector full rewarder and non participants and i have no idea to describe four dimensional replicator dynamics on the two dimensional surface and we will show uh, i am showing Results of uh, mathematical like this. So first, we will start by three strategies: non participants and operators, defectors. They are cycling. And next, for reward can be based. And finally, uh, based on rewards, uh, so bridge head, full punisher can thrive. Of course, this is. Uh, no mutation based on uh, so numerically solving uh, ordinary differential equations, which means uh, in the initial conditions we will have very very small fraction of full reward or full punishment. So uh, to the next speaker, uh, I am uh, so it's my pleasure to introduce. Uh, a next step. Next step should be efficiently uh, arrangement of the institutional incentives and the uh, restricted budget. Because using our model, second order freeriders, uh, uh, so, uh, even in the presence of second order freeriders, our full punishment system can evolve. So next step is to consider so, how to arrange uh, institutional incentives, for example, between rewarding and punishment. But it's not my task. I am happy to leave it to the South Chen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sophia. And uh, we have time for a few questions. Who would like to start? I had a question before, so I'm looking around with anybody else wants to ask a question. But uh, please go ahead. So, this is a very interesting. I know that's the answer, so I don't know. And uh, I have uh, another question. So, you just do this uh, by the number we call imitate. Have you ever used some mathematical uh, tools, such as um, Poncala uh, maps or uh, Lyapunov uh, functions? Uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, actually, uh, this uh, last uh, figure, so 
has been so, produced by uh, numerical uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, so of Mathematica. Uh, so I have now no idea so, how to solve this so find a strategy replicate that system. And I have another question. Do you have a, like a, in, or in, in biology system, we have a basic reproductive number. So do you have this number in your system? Um, you maybe no. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, so based on the data dynamics and population is infinitely large and uh, reproduction is uh, so governed by the relative difference of uh, so payoffs of strategies and uh, increase in the fraction of strategies is given by fraction. Not the number of uh, Thank you. Yeah, we also have a question by Hisashi, please. Is it working? Okay. So, thank you very much for your nice talk for the interaction between punishment, rewarding, voluntary participation, etc., etc. Pure, cool, excellent, excellent, very exciting. And uh, I think that there are two ways of reinforcing cooperation, rewarding uh, cooperators or punishing effectors. And also, to enforce such rewarding or punishment, you can use a second order rewarding or second order punishment. So I can consider a lot of combinations, like you use reward for cooperators and the reward for uh, re co rewarding, uh, so, sorry, rewarding rewarders or, you know, punishing non-rewarders, you know, punishing non-punishers, or a lot of combinations. And uh, can, can you study which combination is the best? Yeah, it's a very good question, because... Uh, so, I should uh, tell you this, uh, so, famous for a uh, result by Kiyonari and uh, Buckley in 2008, they so studied effects of second order peer sanction, second order peer punishment, or second order peer rewarding. But uh, in their studies, uh, they concluded second order peer punishment is uh, very rare in the laboratory. But I would uh, emphasize second order full punishment is considered. You can call it so. Uh, so famous football player Lionel Messi was really punished uh, if so, he was sus so suspected uh, as a tax debater. You know, such second order so institutional or governmental punishment is really uh, so prominent and effective in our modern society. So one point is not uh, so instead of peer punishment. Uh, Considering second order full punishment or rewarding must be necessary. And there should be each combination. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Tatsuya. Any other questions? Okay, let's thank Tatsuya again once more.